Well, it's called the Ultimate Hawker Fest because I found all the ultimate hawkers in Singapore, put them in one place, and then I challenged them to come up with the ultimate version of their dish. So we've gone to a lot of extent to, uh, to uh, make this very, very special. Um, for instance, the chicken rice, right? I found Tian Tian chicken rice, my favourite chicken rice in Singapore, number one. And then I told them I want the best chicken. So we went all the way to Malaysia, got a chicken farmer to actually grow 100 of this very special chicken, corn fed, uh, looked after just 100 of these birds just for this uh, festival. That's why we call it Ultimate Hawker Fest because we are just getting uh, Singapore's favourite hawker dishes and then upping the level so that Singaporeans can say, hey, wow, you know, it can be so good, you know. Why should, why should we be paying $15 for ramen and then we are unable or unwilling to pay $15 for Wagyu beef, hok lam beef noodles, right? So I asked uh, hok lam beef noodles to come and then asked them to use Wagyu beef and then uh, just make a very good bowl of beef noodles using the best ingredients so that, uh, you know, you can enjoy it just for this one day at the Ultimate Hawker Fest. I think Singaporeans are ready for it because we have all these wonderful ingredients over the years, over the last 10, 20 years, they've all been coming into Singapore. So this is an opportunity for all the hawkers to have a chance at using all these great ingredients. And then for us Singaporeans to say, hey, our Singaporean hawker fair is as good as anything around the world. It's really excited because everybody's looking forward to finding out what does an abalone popia taste like, what is uh, the Pao, you know, made with scallops and extract from the, you know, the wonderful stock gonna taste like. What's, um, the satay is gonna be so thick, cut Japanese style kushiyaki pork, right? And wagyu beef. What's this satay gonna taste like? I hope that after this, they might want it so bad that uh, we're gonna see all this satay becoming, you know, like the, the Japanese standard, really, really nice, juicy satay that we can all enjoy. This is my dream, yeah. I think it's a really good way to raise awareness about what uh, you know organisations like Touch Community Services do, and you know how greedy Singaporeans are. So what better way to reach out to their heart, stomach, and pockets, you know, at the same time?